Hello friends, welcome to the Select Motion channel. In this tutorial, we'll get acquainted with the brush tool. As always, we need a design to start with, which I've prepared previously in Adobe Illustrator. To begin, we need to change the workspace. You can do this from the window menu and switch the workspace to paint. In the next step, choose the design to which you want to add this attractive effect. Make sure to watch this video until the end if you use Illustrator, as there is an important point you don't want to miss. Now, let's continue the tutorial. After selecting the brush tool, in the brushes section on the right side, you can choose the size and pattern of the brush you desire. Make sure to change the duration to right on. Place the time indicator on the first frame and quickly, with the brush tool, draw on the design. Here, you can see that After Effects precisely converts this action into an animation. Select the layer you use the brush tool on. Press U on the keyboard to reveal the keyframes and change animation speed by changing the keyframes. You need a copy of the original design. You can either duplicate it from the project section or use Ctrl plus D. Select the layer you applied the brush tool to, press P twice on the keyboard, activate Paint on Transparent, then select the layer you just duplicated, choose Track Mat, and select the layer we created with the brush tool. Now, for added appeal, we need to once again duplicate the brush tool layer, deactivate the track mat, and move this layer to the bottom. In the mode section, you can choose linear burn and reduce the opacity until you achieve the desired effect. Now it's time to add the final effect. Change the workspace back to its previous state. Here I want to draw a circle and enhance the design with it. After drawing the circle, search for CC Smear in the Effects and Presets section and add it to the design. In the options, move the From value approximately to the center of the circle and by changing the to value, as you can see, create the effect. You can adjust the option values to reach your desired design.
finally, after all the changes, place the created layer in a new comp, and by copying from it, you can use this beautiful effect throughout the animation. Now, let's address a potential issue that may arise. If you encounter such a problem during the design, simply enter Adobe Illustrator. Draw a square larger than your design. Make sure to center your design within it and set the square's transparency to zero. Now, with this canvas created around the design, you can use the brush tool much more easily. I hope you enjoy this tutorial.